that's the most important thing. And I think we come out and execute our game plan and wins the loss, take care of ourselves. How does it affect a team when you got every night you're wondering if Seth's going to play or not? Uh, that affects y'all. It don't affect us. Um, it don't affect us at all. You know, we we prepare like the way we've been preparing since he's been out, and that's going to continue. You know, we don't you know worry about all the stuff going to be out there tonight. We know we got to win without him, so you know, that's how we approach every game. Are you encouraged though? It sounds like you're doing more, and Steve said he's getting better. Yeah, he, I mean, he's it's definitely encouraging that he's getting better. But like I said, at the same time, we still got to focus, lock in, and go out there with what we have. What's the most important aspect? You mentioned ball, ball movement, offense, defense. What do you think is going to be the calling card tonight to win? I think both of those go hand in hand because when we when we move the ball and we're flying around the offensive end, it, it makes them have to work, you know, and then. On the other side, you know, it makes it a little easier to defend when they don't have the same legs they have when we're not moving the ball. So both of them go hand in hand. Draymond, what do you have to do tonight? You didn't do the other night. Obviously, not. Win. <laughs> Case okay. closed. Dre, is it, is it all difficult to be locked in when you're not sure if stuff's going to go? Oh, no, um, because like I said, we got to. I mean, at this point in the series, this is bonus if he come back now. Like, we played the entire series without him. Um, you know, it, we've won a couple games without him. So, at this point, if he come back, it's a bonus. But we got to play with what we have and what we've been playing with. Harry came up this morning. The steps have been in MVP this week. How significant is that to win back-to-back? -back? And how was this year different, do you think, for him? Uh, it's, it's, it's significant. You know, there's, I'm not sure how many back-to-back -back MVPs there have been. But I don't know. How many years in the NBA? Yeah, exactly. So that's, you know, that's incredible. Um, you know, but same time, I kind of felt bad today because I didn't tell him congratulations. Because I felt like I knew since December. So, like, it, didn't, it didn't feel like, like this monumentous occasion to me. It didn't feel that way because I've been known for six so months now. So, yes, yeah, I feel bad. I'm a bad teammate today. <laughs> Sucks. <laughs> First world problem. <laughs> I, I, I know at this stage maybe you, you don't do anything different. But whatever, what can you guys do better with it? Um, like I said, number one, make them defend. You know, you make them defend. All those threes aren't falling the same way that they did. And you just gotta be up. You know, on the screens we gotta be up. Um, try to get him inside the three point line. You know, he's dangerous from there. So, um, I think really coming off and you know. Coming out and setting the tempo against him, you know, being into the ball, everybody, you know, is locked in on pretty much everywhere you go on the court. And they only have really a seven man rotation, so you make them work on both sides of the court, fourth quarter, that starts to wear you down. Absolutely, and that's our game plan. Uh, that's been the game plan coming to the seat, I mean, to the series. And that doesn't change. I think we got away from that last game. We got to get back to it tonight. You plan on any type of different type of pregame speech to get them, as you said, to set the tone correctly? Uh, no, I think, you know, we know what we need to do. Um, and everybody's locked in and ready to do that. And what's been different after losses? I mean, you've talked about, Steve talked about how the team gets angry and, and plays more intelligently the next game. I mean, you've got 90 games now without losing two in a row. What, how do you explain that? Um, you know, I think this team does get mad when we lose. And, you know, the focus level raises up, you know, 10 notches, which is, you know, why we've been able to go, you know, this many games without losing two in a row. You know, it's because our focus level really raised up, the intensity level raised up, and I think when that's high, when both of those things are up, it's tough to beat. Draymond, if uh, the Blazers were to lose tonight, they, that's a pretty desperate situation for them. Do, do you expect the intensity level tonight to be high, even even for a playoff game? Absolutely. Um, you know, this is their chance to even out the series. You know, going back on the road for them. You don't want to go back 3-1, you know, so you try to even it out 2-2. So I expect their intensity level to be high. I know their crowd's going to be intense, but it's nothing we haven't seen before.